Lewis Morales again from Drill Team Dynamics and today we're going to be getting into step four of what are the necessary steps to build a successful drill team. Now let's get into step four. Step four is one of my favorite ones as a coach because it's establishing your practice schedule. What I mean by this, depending if you practice Monday through Friday or you practice Monday through Saturday, if you're getting some time during the weekend, this is where you divide what category has its own day. So for example, there's a regulation category, there's an inspection, there's a color guard, and then there's exhibition. And if you go to Daytona Beach, Florida, you do know that you have your two exhibitions. For example, an arm team has the platoon exhibition and the squad exhibition. So this is perfect when you have six days, because if you practice on a Monday through Saturday schedule, you will have your six categories and each category is gonna have its own day for that. When you establish a practice schedule like this, it's very good because your team knows what they're ex expecting. When they know what they're expecting, they can get their head into the game and they know what they need to remember. For example, if they're running your, the exhibition routine, they know that they gotta make sure that they remember the difference between the squad and the platoon. So if it's a squad exhibition day, they can remember like, hey, this is has a different entrance. We maneuver in the middle of the routine a little bit different. The steps are a little bit shorter here. And this routine doesn't have a ripple effect over at that end of the floor. So it's very good because it gives them the ability to kind of break that down and be able to set themselves from the day before to get ready for that following day. Once you have that established, keep it because this is going to be very important. Your team is going to get on a routine and they know what's going to be coming every single day. Shifting different days and just kind of coming up with what you're going to practice that day can be a little confusing because your team is not prepared for it. You want to make sure that your team is prepared for whatever is coming because that's the way that they're going to be performing and practicing their best. And that is step four of what are the necessary steps to build a successful drill team.